stage. Sure, sure. Uh, you mentioned naps, and naps are interesting to me. I having ha, for a long time, having worked a, mm -hmm. a morning shift in radio right. and television, where you get up really early in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, Saturday morning, I'll be up bright and early. Sure, <laughs> and the sure. day starts, right. you know, three o'clock sometimes in the morning, that right. sort of thing. So, if you're doing that, uh, you take a nap sometimes in the afternoon, and you always wonder if that really has some benefit to it. Sure. But it's interesting in what you mentioned uh, to me before the show that you may want to take a nap, but you don't want to necessarily make it too long of a nap. Correct. Uh, and the, the rule that we were talking about was 3.30, which is you should not take a nap after 3 p.m. It should not be longer than 30 minutes. Uh, and naps have been proven to be beneficial. Sarah Mednick, a PhD at uh, University of California, has done a lot of research and uh, there are lots of other researchers who have done studies which show that as brief of a 15 minute nap in the afternoon mm -hmm. can provide alertness improvement lasting for three hours. Yeah. And, and Dr. Piasecki, why not more than 30 minutes? Uh, why, why is that sort of the magic number? If you go past 30, is that bad? Um, I think that part of the problem is you, you, you want to consolidate your sleep at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you're taking longer naps during the day, then that's actually taking away from your ability to get to sleep at nighttime. So, and the other reason for not going after 3 or 3.30 is that you're going to actually impinge then on the ability for you to fall asleep appropriately.